friends, this is Samir Soni and you're watching Staying Alive in Bollywood. Today we'll be talking about fitness. Nowadays fitness has become such an integral part of our life, you know. Whether you're a banker, whether you're an actor, you're a model, you're a teenage kid who wants to grow up and be Miss India one day, hey, you gotta be fit, right? And it's often said that there's a healthy mind in a healthy body. So we always have emphasis on having a healthy body. That means you should eat right, you should drink right, you should exercise and then your mind shall be healthy. I tend to differ on this case. I think if your mind is healthy, your body shall follow. I recently discovered a new hobby which uh, had an extremely calming effect on me, which was pottery. And that's where we are right now. We are in uh, my favorite studio. It's called Earth to Fire, and it's a pottery studio. I've been here coming here for almost a year now, and I have spent uh, one of my best moments or great time having a great time here and learning a lot of stuff and unwinding. And, uh, well, just keeping my mind healthy. And uh, to help me out, I'd like to introduce my teacher. Hi, Anu. Uh, she's my teacher who runs a studio called Earth to Fire. Unfortunately, in our business, there's a lot of downtime. If you work for like a day or, you know, a week, a month, there'll be times you have no work or you're not doing any work for, you know, weeks together. And then you need a hobby which is, you know, flexible also. And that's where I think Anu comes in. In fact, when uh, I'm like, okay, I want to do something. I'm getting really stressed out. I'll give her a call. Say, Anu, can I come down to your studio? And then... Uh, Water around, and we will show you what, um, how the process, how a piece goes from hey, clay, nothing to perhaps something as uh, mm -hmm. yeah. interesting as this. I'll walk you through this with help from Anup, right? Yeah. Join us soon. I'm at the wheel right now, and I'll be throwing, uh, which is essentially taking this clay, putting on top of this and centering it and hopefully, hopefully, trying to make a cylinder out of it. And you can make different shapes, you can make a cylinder, you can make a bowl. And I shall attempt a cylinder. This is about, uh, this clay is, you can see it's a little wet, damp, weighs about 600 odd grams. And uh, yeah, well, here it goes, all right. Okay, you slap it in the center, make sure it doesn't move. Put some water on top, all right. The machine goes on. During monsoon, then I live uh, a distance from here. It was just great because there are just people on their respective pieces working away and you have some music playing and it's raining outside. And you're totally shut out from the world outside. There's no world of films, television, or you know, whatever, or a six pack. I mean, you know, honestly, I wouldn't care a damn about that as long as I'm feeling happy and feeling good and being here makes me feel really good. Now I'm going to try centering it, which is bringing it down. Right. You support it with your hands and you bring it down. Dear friend Mandira Bedi, she, uh, she's the one who'd been, uh, who discovered this place. And uh, she said, Sam, you must come here and stuff. And I resisted for like a good couple of months, I think. I said, no, 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 I can't pottery. It's a girl's thing to do, you know. I can't do pottery. I want to do something else. She says, come and you'll find out. And I came here and uh, I was sold because this is a, the environment is, is fantastic. It's, it's creative. You're locked away from, uh, I hate using the word, but like a superficial world, uh, which unfortunately we are part of. Now we're gonna try to open up the clay, well, which is simple. Take your finger, give it some support, and just go inside. 